Hi folks, welcome back to Frogger 2 Swampy's Revenge. We just have three more levels left to speedrun. They're the free, quote-unquote, Halloween levels. And they have the best music in the game, so I'm, hum I'm pumped for that. So, first, the Graveyard Garden Laws has the best score of 1 minute 40 seconds. This one should be interesting. Let's break out our good friend Wart to thwart Swampy. First, okay, that's off to a great start. Beautiful. That's exactly what I wanted to see. This part is very frustrating to get through quickly. Especially with this, I feel like everything on that part is like, you gotta slow down, which is not my style. There we go. No! Okay, if you can get through that fast enough, you can beat the hand cycles. Yeah, this level is crazy fast if you know how to do it properly, which is really fun. Of course, if you just keep drowning the toad in the water, then you're going to be in for a bad time. No! Okay. We gotta hold off a little bit for the foot. I don't know why I keep hopping into the water there. I guess I'm assuming the game's just gonna drop all my inputs, so I keep m just mashing some extra inputs. Ah. Uh, it's so it It's hard hopping this fast, this precisely, along, say, a winding road like this. Especially if you're on the coffin section. And the coffins are moving. Oh, I don't think I got hit by the spider there. Oh my gosh, the combination of dropped inputs and mashing make it impossible to navigate this! <laughs> Oh my gosh, I had so many dropped inputs and I had the super hop glitch. Uh, Frogger 2! I was proudly explaining to everybody how much of a great speed game you were. Don't make me a liar. Hold off for the foot towards the end here. No! I landed on the pedestal! Come on, no! Duh, if you drop like one input here, and by you, I mean if the game doesn't register like one input here, you're not getting through this on one cycle. If the game was more responsive to your inputs, it would be so fantastic. I wonder what would happen if the game was allowed to, like, buffer inputs for you. I wonder if that would make things better or worse. <laughs> Alright, hold off for the foot. Um, oh, that's right, Blue Frog is over here. Jump on. <sighs> I forgot Blue Frog was in the graveyard. So we gotta actually stop for him. How did I miss the coin there? Okay. Trying to scope out a plan to get Blue Frog. Uh, 
Okay. If I hadn't dropped my input to move me to the right, that I think actually would have worked out just great. Um. No, oh, too far! Like I said, this level is amazing if you can do it fast. And if the game allows you to do it fast. There we go. For the feet. No, okay. Oh no, that lost a lot of time, actually. Ugh! Deaths in speedruns are so punishing. Maybe Wart just really don't like the Haunted House. No, just wasn't fast enough! Oh my gosh, this is not good! By the way, for those of you who are wondering, I'm recording this the same day I recorded all of the other speedrunning videos for this. So, I'm kind of feeling the strain of Frogger 2 speedruns. So I'm not playing my best. Doggone it! Please! Santa, what I want for Christmas is a copy of Frogger 2 that lets me move as fast as possible. Oh no. Wart pumped up. Pumped up. All I want for Christmas is a copy of Frogger 2 that responds to all of my inputs and none of the inputs I don't do. No! Ah! I can't even tell you how many inputs it dropped there. Like, you might think, oh, it occasionally drops. No, like, it drops probably 10% of your inputs in this game when you're hopping at a fast rate like this. I'm mashing the A button, or the movement button, a lot more than what I'm actually moving. Alright, there we go. Alright, here we go. No! I moved down! Okay, that's fine. That's fine. I thought it moved me back to where the purple frog was. Okay, that's fine. I'll take that. One death towards the end that wasn't very costly. I will take that. Graveyard Garden. Oh, we got two coins. Don't care. 43 seconds. I will accept that. Alright. Sci-Fi Man had a 2 minute 30 second record on Haunted House. This should be interesting. For Haunted House, it's Swampy's house, so let's play as Swampy. Well, that didn't last long. <laughs> that stupid hand's gonna be in the way, eh? Alright. <laughs> this room is fun to do on a, uh, speed rod. Ghost is still creepy. Gotta be patient here for the elevator as well as for the fire of the pumpkin soup. 
No, no, ow! Oh. If I hadn't, if I hadn't gotten the stupid double super hop glitch, I think I would have gotten past that stupid rat. I like how Swampy uses his bag as like a parachute. All right, stupid rat, get out of my way. All right, what's good? There we go. All right, that was fine. That was <laughs> that was a record for Hana House we got pretty quickly. Yeah, we had a death towards the end, but that's still a pretty good time. 121 instead of 230. That's pretty good. Actually, I'll try that again with a different character. Uh, Treeby. It's been a while since we played as our man Treeby. Okay, if we can go around the Wallmaster at the beginning, that would save some time. Oh, that is rough. I don't think you can get past the Wallmaster no matter how fast you go. Maybe if you do like a... No, by the time you do that, it would be faster to just wait for him to go out of the way. That's annoying. You have to wait for him to move out of the way. He's just in your way. Oh, man. I did the first part of the level really, really well. This time, if I just wait for the rat to move out of the way and don't die, I'll get a better time. No, okay. No, never mind. I don't really want to do that. All right, wind up. Jim got a two minute time for wind up and it's Swampy's level. So uh, <laughs> Swampy's gonna dismantle his own machine. Swampy the game, how meta. It literally is Swampy the game because we play as Swampy. I hate how on some of these electric fences you cannot see when they're about to jolt. Drop the inputs is so annoying, it screwed me over so many times. I got the double super hot glitch there. Love that, love that. I was not even close to that platform. So why is Swampy facing the wrong direction like a little goon? Alright, this part... I feel like understanding when the electric fences are going to flow is going to be integral to getting a really good high score on this. Oh no! And that was really far into the room too. The double super hot glitch loves coming in to try and screw me up. That's fine, we're still set on the fastest cycle. Wait for the top fence to go. Oh shoot, that was the opportunity. That's okay. We're still on a pretty good track.
Ugh. No! You move into that and you get squished. It doesn't count as a wall. It's just like, oh, you moved into the wall? <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I knew that was about to spray. And Swampy, you made this machine. You gotta die a bunch of times in it. <sighs> that cycle's gonna be tight, but I think we can make it. I think we can make it. If only we were playing as someone like Tad. Oh, wait. I swear some of the frogs' super hops are a little more responsive. Like, I feel like Tad's super hops are a bit more responsive than Swampy's or Ruby's. Uh, no! The curse of the dropped input again! I don't want to get auto hop. That would be bad. No! Come off it! That's so obnoxious! I mean, not as obnoxious as me complaining about this, but still. that there we go all right at least this music is godlike <laughs> no there was no electricity there what the heck Alright, there we go, that's fine. Only one minor mess, mess up. Wind up! Oh, no bonus for me. That's okay. One minute 14 instead of two minutes. Yes, please. That's great. And now, RD has the high score on every level. <laughs> Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Now, before we leave, one thing I want to show off. I actually can't remember if I showed off Feeding Frenzy yet. I know I show off many frogs. But I'm going to show you just how much Feeding Frenzy absolutely, completely, utterly breaks the time trial mode. And I think I'm going to start it off. So let's start off with a simple one, the garden. And we haven't played as good old Frogger in a while. Why bother avoiding the obstacles when you can just eat them in your way? Of course, you can accidentally eat the wrong stuff. That does happen. I want to show off just like... I think you can eat the grindstones here. Yep, you can eat the grindstones here. That was weird. Oh my gosh, it's Schrodinger's grindstone. The grindstone is simultaneously here and not here. Like, the, we ate the graphics of it, but the actual, like, hit detection which kills you is still there. That's crazy. That's crazy, but also crazy awesome. What else? Where else can we go? Oh, it will make Space Station a whole lot easier. Let me tell you what. Because we can eat the stuff in our way. Not the electric fences, naturally, but... Oh, 
Oh, what's this? What's this? You're going this way, but all the platforms just aren't lining up? No matter, we'll eat the brains. And now, there shouldn't be any issues. Well, I mean, there are still issues, but that's because I have issues. Uh, where else can we go? Ant's Nest. Ant's Nest will definitely be easier if we go here. Why? Why? Okay. Treaty. So it's interesting because there's only a certain amount of those spiders, and like when one disappears, it just it reappears back at the top. Which is why eventually they stopped reappearing. Where else can we go? I think we can eat the monkeys in the research facility, which is pretty funny. Uh, I like the sound that Tank makes when he eats stuff. We can eat the vacuum cleaners. Once again, the vacuum cleaners, they, infinitely, they don't infinitely spawn. There's only a set of them that keep respawning. I believe we can eat the monkey guards, which is pretty awesome. Oh, what's this? I don't fear you. Oh no, you can't. The monkey guards are, I guess, like the one thing you cannot eat. Dang, monkey guards are impervious. A disco lab, you can eat a bunch of stuff on it, if memory serves. You can eat these guys, obviously. You can eat the Robo Dogs. You can eat the Bubbles. You cannot eat these platforms, but you might be able to eat the Newton Balls. Don't recommend doing that in real life, but. Nope, I'm thinking of something else. Ah, yes, good old collision detection. Working perfectly as always. For Haunted Graveyard, you can eat some stuff. For Haunted House, you can eat pretty much everything. Which is great. <laughs> Let's try that again. And not embarrass ourselves this time. I don't think you can eat the blue ghost who chases you for that one room. I think he's invincible. You can eat the pumpkins, though. You can eat the statue, the armor statues. You can eat the ghosts. Yeah, that ghost is like a, I. I am no longer affected by your eating habits. Yeah. Still. A lot of cool stuff you can do there. Wind up, I think you can eat the machinery. No, you cannot eat the machinery. That's a shame. There are two levels, though, that get totally broken. Well, a couple, pretty much all of these retro levels get broken, but Driven Back and Blockade in particular. So Driven Back, you can literally just eat the cards as you approach them, if provided the, the eating animation actually works. That's weird. It wasn't working for some of those. That was weird how it wasn't working for some of those. Blockade is a cinch if you can use Free Eating Frenzy. Yeah, eating the stuff in the road is ridiculous. Round the Bend as well. Another one that Feeding Frenzy is crazy for. The cars on this level are actually genuinely a threat. No! Why did the car have to appear right then? As you can see, when you clear the road of obstacles, 
You can go a lot faster. And yeah, using this you can get a much better record than what I had established. It's weird how it's not letting me eat certain cards. I'm not going to collect the last one because that'll give me a high score that is invalid because I use cheat codes for it. And I don't like to cheat. So, having said that, that's it for single player of Frogger 2 Swampy's Revenge. I do have one special surprise. Marty and I will be playing the multiplayer uh, in the next few episodes. And we've already recorded it and it's it's gonna be pretty fun. I, I think it turned out pretty well. So, well, I hope you agree. In the meantime, thanks so much for watching. This has been a blast to go through the speedruns, despite all of my complaints about it dropping inputs. I still had fun doing this, so look forward to the next few videos. It will be a blast. Until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.